everyone uh, let's start the resources deployment today so um, as per the task that resources we require here is will be the function app and the storage account so uh, we'll be using the uh, arm templates to deploy this so let me just uh, show you the templates uh, so this is our template this is a template file and uh, where we have where we are deploying two resources first is the storage account and then uh, this is the uh, server forms which is uh, required for the function app so basically it will it's a function app and the underlying resource is the server form apart from that there is the storage account so these are the three resources overall which we are deploying and accordingly we have the parameter file which has the you know required values so storage account name server form name function app name and the account there whatever the um, account type you want uh, so i'm not going to go in detail uh, into how we create an arm template and what are the basics of it um, if, if it is required you can comment in the comment section below like if you you know if you want a detailed uh, video on that i'll be happy to create that but for now um, uh, all i want all i can uh, you know uh, show here is that this is the template i can uh, give you the links for the template if required um, however it's a pretty uh, basic template like you can even get it uh, from the azure uh, docs documentation as well so here if you see let me just uh, explain to you the storage account so we uh, this is the type which where we mentioned the type of the resource we want the api version which you can get from the docs like i said and uh, apart from that we give the name and this we are taking it from the parameters so we define the parameter here there is yeah this is the parameter which we have defined here and we pass the value of the parameter in the parameter uh, file we can either do it in the parameter file or we can give an inline parameters as well so overall this is the template okay uh, which we are going to deploy now uh, let me just um, and uh, uh, this is in my local so i'll be using a local deployment form so let me yeah so we'll be using the az cli for this so let me just get started so firstly let's log into our account Yeah, so this is the account. Okay, now um, yeah, so it's logged in. So as you can see, um, this is our account where we have logged in. Now, what we'll do is, uh, as you all know, uh, so let me just show you the commands first. So uh, this is the uh, you know the AR, uh, arm deployment command az deployment group okay where we are deploying it at a resource group level and we give the template template file uh, uh, you uh, the path and the parameter file path which is in my local so before we do that first we have to create a resource group az group create okay we give the name and we give the location so see, this is pretty simple like if we go back here um you can just you know you can just do a basic google search search az cli whatever you want to do okay and you can uh, search for the link with the docs microsoft so this is the one so here you can see see this is so the following cli command creates a resource group so it's pretty simple you just have to copy it uh given your name given the location whatever you want and then you can do it okay so azure i mean microsoft has made it pretty simple now let's get back here so first what we'll do is let's create this resource group so yeah so let's create the group az group create this is the name of the resource group which will be created and this is the location okay now yeah so it's successful it has created this particular resource group this is the name so we can we can just verify it here so where is this yeah yeah so if you can see here if you come to the resource groups yeah so this is the function app demo that this is the resource group which we had just created 
so now uh, as we have the resource group what we'll do is next is we'll deploy this particular template so let me just copy this So I'll just explain to you again, it's a basic command, AZ deployment group create, where first we pass the resource group name where we want the deployment to be done and then template file. Here we give the template file path in our local and then we give the parameter file path. Okay, That's all. There are different variations to it where instead of, you know, instead of giving a parameter file, you know, and see if you here there are only these four parameters which we are passing we can actually pass this in line as well so that's also a way but uh, let's get back here so yes so this is the one so As you can see, it, the deployment has started here. You first validate the temp template and uh, first it will obviously check if the resource group is there. If it's not there, you might uh, uh, possibly get the uh, error that the resource group is not found. But that's the reason first we have to create that. And once that is done, it will validate the templates which we have given and then it will start creating. So we'll just meanwhile just check it here so this is our uh, the source group so here if you come to the deployment section you'll be able to see so this is the deployment which which we had just kicked in and it's in the deploying state so if you get, go inside this we can see you know the actual uh, operations which are happening here so you know uh, just if you have to track something you can just check it here but for now We'll just go to the overview page and yeah so we can see in real time how firstly it will create the app service plan because that's the underlying resource required for the function app to function so you know this is just parallelly if you see and then yeah this is our storage account which is created and then next will be the function app which will be created so yeah so here uh, let me refresh it it should appear here yes so you, as you can see our function app and the storage account is created this uh, app service plan is the underlying uh, uh, resource required for the function app and uh, here as well let me just yeah here you can see that it is just giving us the overview of what all resources it has created so you can these are just you know for you to debug or if you require you know more details you can check it here but overall it did not throw any error it's it's a provisioning state is succeeded for all the three resources and the same can be verified here so that was the deploying uh, the parameters i mean sorry the deploying the resources so and uh, let's get to the next part where we'll be uh, deploying the function into this function app so right now if you see here this is our function app which is empty there is nothing in the app yeah so in the next video let's just deploy the function app and then we'll create the build pipeline and do the monitoring thank you